Hello children, welcome to the online classes of computer science. Today we will be studying your chapter 1 which is operating system and graphical user interfaces, role and functions. An overview of the chapter. Children, computer works with an interaction of hardware and of software. Hardware refers to the physical parts of a computer that we can see and touch. Whereas, software refers to the instructions or programs that tell the hardware what to do. Mobile phone is a hardware and all the applications which it possesses are software. Without the applications, mobile phone is simply a plastic case. And without the hardware, mobile phones means these applications cannot be used. Next is types of software. So software are of two types. First is your application software. Children, it is a set of programs designed to perform some specific type of job like MS Word, MS Paint, etc. Next is your system software. Children, it is a collection of one or more programs that controls and manages the overall operations and performance of a computer system. It acts as an interface between the user and the computer and also provides a platform for running an application software. A system software can be classified into following categories. First is your operating system. Next is your language processor. Then is your device drivers and your utility softwares. Now we shall be discussing about what is an operating system. An operating system. Children, being a machine, computer cannot do anything on its own. It requires a specific instructions and on how to perform each and every task. So basically, operating system it acts like an interface the computer interprets the instructions given by the user with the help of an operating system it is the master program it makes the computer alive and helps to run different applications it acts as a central coordinator between the hardware and the software so these are the basic points of why operating system and what is an operating system is used for next is your features and functions of an operating system children the most popular operating system which are used nowadays are windows 7 windows 8 windows 8.1 windows 10 mac os linux and there are many most operating systems have certain features and functions in common. Now we shall be discussing some common features and functions of an operating system. First is processor management. It is one of the most important functions of an operating system. The operating system ensures that each process application receives enough time from the processor to function properly. These are the processes rather than applications which are controlled, managed and executed by the operating system. It's a kind of a process management. This is a major function of an operating system. Next is your memory storage and management. Children, an operating system manages the sharing of internal memory among the multiple applications. We use so many applications in the computer system and all those memories are being managed by an operating system. An operating system has to make efficient utilization of different types of memory, for an example, RAM, cache, etc. within the system so as to ensure proper execution of every process. Next is your file management. A computer system uses a lot of data which is stored on the secondary storage device. Now children, this is the task of an operating system to keep a track of information regarding creation, deletion, transfer, copy and storage of all the files that are there organized in an organized manner. It also maintains the integrity of data stored in these files. Next is your children device management. Now children, 
it is again the function of an operating system to manage the device okay it's the controlling like controlling power of operating system is how it controls and coordinates the various input output devices it receives the requests from one dev device performs a specific task and communicates back to the requesting process this is the reason why we state that an operating system handles the input output operations of a computer system next is your security and protection the inbuilt security modules of an operating system protects the resources and the information stored on the operating system against unauthorized access. Next is enforcement of priority system. An operating system determines and maintains a specific order in which various jobs are to be executed in the computer system. Like we do multiple tasks at the same time now it becomes a job of an operating system as how to manage and in which order a specific job will be performed this is purely a job of an operating system next is your provision of user interface an operating system provides a systematic user interface which facilitates and is structures the interaction between the user and a computer it can either be a CUI that is character user interface or a GUI graphical user interface. This part we shall be taking in further of the chapter. Next is your job control. Children, when a user wants to run an application or a program, it is mandatory to communicate the instructions to the operating system about the work to be done. Using the standard set of system commands called JCL that is job control language a user can communicate with the operating system children next is your types of operating system okay so in this past three decades computer have taken a giant stride towards excellence and high performance from bulky physical configuration computers have miraculously transformed into one of the most powerful yet completely portable devices like before we were using so much of you know uh, unportable system but now we are using laptops palm tops these days so it has you know changed a lot in terms of technology Similarly, operating system have also been developed at a rapid pace to serve the needs of user. Now we shall be discussing the types of an operating system. In this video, you can see a single user operating system where a single user is using a system. That is an operating system. For single user operating system, system was the initial version of the operating system that allowed only one user to work with the computer at a time the most popular single user operating system were the microsoft dos microsoft windows 3.1 microsoft windows 95 due to their limited features they are no longer in use nowadays children windows 95 featured the first appearance of the start menu taskbar minimize maximize and close button on each application window next is your multi-user operating system multi-user operating system allows more than one user to use the same computer at the same time or at different times some operating systems which fall in this category are Windows 2000, Windows NT, Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, Linux and Unix. Windows 2000 was the first version of Windows which allowed creation of several user accounts on a single machine. Next is your multiprocessor operating system. A multiprocessor system consists of several processor that share a common physical memory in this system all processor operate under the single operating system it provides higher computing power and speed that allows the user to run and work in multiple applications 
at the same time. You can see in the diagram also, all the CPUs are sharing the same memory. Execution of several tasks by different processor at the same time increases the system's performance. Next is your multitasking operating system. As I think you must have guessed by looking at the picture and also by the name that it means doing multiple tasks at the same time. The ability to perform more than one task together at one time is called multitasking. An operating system which is capable of doing multiple tasks or processes while using common processing resource that is using only one CPU is called a multitasking operating system. It switches from one program to another so quickly that it gives the appearance of executing all programs at the same time. Today, most operating system falls under this category. For an example, Unix, Linux, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, etc. Even in our mobile phone also, we have this operating system only where we can do multiple tasks at the same time. We can hear the music in the background. We can do WhatsApp chatting. We can also side by side can do our calculations also using a calculator. So all these part of, his part is of a multitasking operating system. Next is your multi-threading operating system. These operating systems allow different parts of a software program to run simultaneously. The feature of multi-threading can delay the execution response of certain processor. For example, if you host a game server on LAN, your friends will utilize different parts of the same game by connecting to your machine at the same time. All resources will be utilized from your machine, which can be a performance degrading factor. The common examples of such operating systems are Windows NT 2000, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, Unix, Linux, etc. Next is your real-time operating system. Children, your real-time operating system is designed to handle real-life scenarios and programs. Such operating systems have the capability to prioritize the processes minimize the execution time and work inde independently with no interdependencies. Real-time operating system is used when the time span requires to react to an input is rigid and time-bound. For an example, you do it in your ATMs. Even a microsecond of delay will cause the system to fail. Examples are air traffic control, robots, weapon systems and industrial control system. And also, there are two types of real-time operating system, hard real-time systems and soft real-time systems. For your hard real-time system, these systems guarantee that critical tasks are completed in time. For your soft real-time system, these systems are less restrictive. For an example, are undersea exploration, planetary rovers and virtual reality. Next is your distributed operating system. Children, distributed operating system runs on a set of computers that are allocate, located in different geographical areas. You can see it in the diagram also. They are interconnected by a network. It controls these interconnected systems and make them appear as a single computer. It allows all the linked machine to access data and software and this process takes over the common network from different computers irrespective of their location on the globe. Next is your user interface. Children, as we know, interface is a point where two systems meet and interact with each other. Similarly, in computing, user interface refers to the hardware software mechanism by which a user interacts with the computer to pass instructions to it. The operating system of a computer acts as an interface through which a user gives commands or instruction to the computer and also receives messages from the computer. 
without the operating system interaction between a user and a computer is not possible there are two types of interfaces as of now various types of user interfaces have evolved with the time and advances of the technology but we will be discussing only two as of now first is your cui that is character user interface and then is your gui that is graphical user interface now let us see what is cui character user interface this interface requires the user to type commands in order to interact with the computer system this type of interface is not a good choice for the beginners as they have to memorize a good range of different commands character user interface is also known as a command line interface a command line is a space on the display screen in which commands are typed in by the user children Unix and DOS are the popular example of CUI. Next is your graphical user interface. This interface is graphics based and interactive in nature. Different types devices such as mouse, keyboards, etc. are used to interact with the system. Graphical user interface is more user friendly as unlike CUI, it does not require the user to memorize the commands. Instead, the user uses different menus and options to communicate with the system. Windows is the most popular GUI operating system. Children, there are more advantages of GUI over CUI. The advantages and of course the disadvantages both are there in your books. You must go through them because they are very important and also knowing them is very very important you should know the difference between CUI and GUI CUI is difficult to use but yes there is importance of and in existence is also important and plays a part GUI nowadays we all are using them children this all was there in your chapter please go through it do the Paxit exercises and if you have any doubt, please write the comment in the comment section. Thank you.